Taurus, we have the ultimate vindication coming through for you. And it's returning in the form of the love and happiness that you desire. Let's dig in. Hello, Taurus, and welcome to your general reading for the second half of October 2020. Let's dig in here and see what your theme is going to be for the second half of the month. And remember, guys, energy goes both ways. So if this message doesn't fit, don't make it fit. Okay. Ooh, number 13, Voice of an Angel. It's a pretty card. I'm going to read the first little blurb that she has written in her book for this because she's done such a good job with her descriptions. Okay, it says, you have something to say. There is a unique voice within you that wants to be expressed creatively in the world. Whether it is a conversation you need to have, a truth stated, a song to be sung, or a book to be written, honor your voice. Know that it is inspired and can help not only your own spiritual growth, but support others on their path too. Sounds like a call to action. A call to purpose, rather. Let's see what else we get to balance out this theme. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. And lastly, let's get these last few before moving on to the whole of the spread. We have abundance, freedom, miracles. Okay, this is fantastic. This is beautiful, rather. So stepping into your purpose here is going to open the door. Abundance, freedom, and miracles. You're already working on this. And you may not have hit the jackpot yet, but abundance is, you're literally aligning with these. Abundance, freedom, miracles. Just keep going. Okay, let's get into the heart of the spread for Taurus for the second half of October 2020, please. devil cap more capricorn energy five of pentacles eight of wands six of swords the hanged man the world five of cups so this really feels like moving on from something And don't worry, because the moving on is a significant completion for you. Interesting. But then you have Eight of Wands, Hanged Man, Five of Cups. So someone... Okay, it's like... Someone regrets the thing they did. So now they want to talk. 
What did they do to you, Taurus? All right, let's find out. Let's clarify the devil card, the situation. Because I don't see this as bad. But we're going to clarify to be sure. The Emperor, Ten of Pentacles. Oh, I see. King of Pentacles. Okay. Four of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. King of Wands. I'm Queen of Wands. Hmm. Well, the plot thickens here, doesn't it? Tower, <laughs> sun. Wow. Three of cups. Eight of pentacles. Nine of swords. Seven of cups. The moon. Three of pentacles. And two of cups. Six of wands. Okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Let's talk this first, then we'll talk about this. <laughs> okay, so what it looks like to me is that this is either a situation of stability, like a partner that you're with or a job that has been your longtime stable It's like, I mean, you could have, you could have even, there's like two threads going through my mind right now. Give me just a moment, please. Okay. Leave that right there for a second. What's happening here? This emperor, ten of pentacles, king of pentacles. Four swords, queen of pentacles. This emperor was stubborn in staying in a stable situation. It um, put something that's either long-term live-in or marriage for the sake of it being a stable thing that looked good. But as this emperor has healed, who he wants has become clearer. And that's you, Taurus, showing up as the Queen of Wands. You'd think you'd show up as the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, but no, that's you. And what that tells me you showing up as the queen of wands, you have done the work to become a more confident person. You are embodying your walk as your talk. That's why your hard work is paying off in these abundance, freedom and miracles. You have leveled up. And although they look like an emperor, maybe they they own a business or like the head of the household kind of vibe, right? That archaic vibe. It doesn't, matter you don't need the old way of this person okay and so this person's previous idea of relationship of it just being a stable thing not a loving thing not a passionate thing just a stable thing that's getting blown up because something's happened to heal this person this emperor and so when they have the breakthrough due to this healing that their person is you, they're going to want this happiness and celebration. However, <laughs> and I see where the devil card is the original situation. There is all of this. That's why I think you do work together. Eight of pentacles, three of pentacles. It's, it's this whole narrative in their mind of, crap what do I do I love this person no one can know eight of pentacles nine of swords seven of cups 
moon, three of pentacles, two of cups. So this emperor, that's what I'm saying, boss energy. It's like it's, they don't know how to go about making something happen with you. But they want that love with you. This, this, this vibe here with the moon, three of pentacles and three of cups and two of cups on its own is giving me this, this hatching a plan. How do I, what do I do to build the, like build the thing that makes this happen? What does that look like? Whereas you, it looks like you could have left the job. You could, it, it's, it's like this person, this boss could have kept their spouse or live in partner and for so long and just stayed comfortable. But it looks like when you came in, things started to change. Things started to change. Things started to change just because of your badass energy, Right? Because you are badass. So it looks like your growth in this, leveling up to Queen of Wands, made you understand your worth and not fear it like you did before. You're not fearing leaving this job, this connection behind anymore. You, if you're not already gone, you know that it's time to complete this and to move on. And what's hilarious... <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it really is funny. I hope you have a sense of humor in this too, is that as you transition out to this unknown of sorts to smoother waters, it's like their healing and breakthroughs continue because maybe, maybe you got to tell them to shove it where the sun don't shine as you exited. And now they're like, ah, oh, I hurt this person. And now I want to talk about it. <laughs> so the bottom of the deck. This is this is hysterical, actually. Okay, let's start with the first. Okay, let's do this first. Okay, so let's go from top to bottom. We've got Six of Wands, Magician, Four of Cups, Empress, Ace of Pentacles. So this emperor has realized that you are his empress. He's actually showing up as the magician here. And it looks like he's like trying to strut back into your life and be like, here, here, here's this cup. And you're just sitting there looking pretty as he tries to offer you a new beginning that's based in money. That's what I'm saying. If this is a job, this person's going to try to keep you. And after trying to do that and figuring out that don't work, <laughs> this person is going to have to gather the strength to up their ante. They're going to have to come in with a heart-based long-term commitment. There's that higher front. There you are. And the other thing that they're going to have to do, see this, this immature energy here, that Knight of Wands, this is what's going to have to level up with this strength card and death card that is going to be transformed. And hopefully the result will be a well-adjusted adult, right? <laughs> so I will leave that victory card right there. And let's get into the rest because this is getting more interesting. So it looks like this was a situation, this was a job that you remained at for a while. And now you got to the point of the ebbs and flows of your own growth where you're just so incredibly strong and confident, Taurus. That you're like, you know... This person doesn't, this emperor doesn't want to see me. I'm going to move on somewhere else where I am appreciated. And find someone who sees me. 
So let's clarify the rest. This is all already off to a juicy start. Could only get better, right? It could only get better. Let's start with the five of pentacles and see where we go in clarifying these cards. King of swords, ace of cups, six of swords, page of pentacles, seven of pentacles, three of pentacles, world, temperance, yep, seven of swords, seven of cups, yeesh, six of swords. Well, that's a good sign, actually. Five of cups, king of cups. So this person has grown the F up. Ace of pentacles, full. Six of cups, they're coming back. Wow. Oop, oh, okay. It's too many, too many. So nine of cups fell out too. So someone's wish is getting granted here. And the hanged man. There's the emperor, the enlightened emperor. Wow, 10 of rods. Yes, empress. Eight of Wands, Chariot, Four Swords again, Sun. Whoo, let's stop the reading now. <laughs> Judgment, no longer stuck in his head, coming forward. Knight of Swords, like a bat out of hell. Okay, this is great. This is great, Taurus. <laughs> so this person, when you leave... They start getting real clear <laughs> on what they should be doing, that they should be bringing you this cup. They start getting real clear, real fast, because I'm seeing that it wasn't just their previous connection that was just this comfortably stable thing, but you provided stability too. Makes sense if this is a job. I'm still getting work with this, like a, like a, like a, co-worker romance situation so here we have six of six of swords page of pentacles seven of pentacles three of pentacles so as soon as they come back in it's like as soon as you leave here they come and you're just like no i finally 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 left this behind how dare you <laughs> How dare you follow me and want to work on this? <laughs> ah, but what's so great, what is so very wonderful, is that this, any sneaky behavior, deceptive behavior, confusing behavior is done. Done and gone. Done. Set sail. Finished. So... This person has regrets on what happened. We already know that with the five of cups. And this person comes back a little more emotionally mature than before, right? King of cups, ace of pentacles, the fool, six of cups. Wanting to take the risk on this reunion happening for reals, okay? And... I love this enlightenment timeline here because hangman, the emperor, he's showing up again. The emperor is putting down the burden on however they did relationship before. So he can go from queen of pentacles to empress, you being the empress. They see you clearly. As soon as you leave, they see you clearly. Go figure, right? So... Once you leave, I mean, eight of wands is already traveling fast, but it's paired with the chariot. This is like lightning. Lightning's going to strike. This person's going to poof, show up. And then there's healing in this connection with happy days ahead. So keep doing you. Keep using being your authentic voice. Your hard work is paying off. You have been doing the steps. You don't have to do anything else except you. So if this job came in, this new job came in, and it's just something amazing, go. Because if you stay, this emperor will remain comfortable where he is. He won't move across the spread to enlightenment over here. 
So you can't stay, otherwise he will stay. He is not being inconvenienced. He is not uncomfortable, right? So you have to exit to push this emperor off that throne. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, so I am clearly going to go on to the extended now. So if you're interested in that, Taurus, uh, the link is in the extent for the extended is below. Um, I'm going to go into the near future, the final outcome, messages from your person, messages from spirit about this connection, as well as a timing card. So I'm going to dive into that now and I will see you over there. Bye, guys. Ooh.